Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the GTA 5 show. I'm your host, Ollie43, and this is the place where we cover GTA 5 to the max, up until the release of the game. The gameplay is out. We've all seen it. If you haven't already seen it, there is a link in the description. It says gameplay trailer. Just go and click that, watch it. It is amazing. You will absolutely love it and then come back to this video because in this video we're going to be breaking down the HUD inside of GTA 5 and um, it should be a lot of fun. I've got a new setup, it's pretty awesome. I'll give you a little sneak preview of what's going to be going on. Uh, so what I can do is I can click anywhere on the timeline of the video and I can go backwards and forwards. It's pretty fun. Um, I know this is not like a groundbreaking feature. Uh, many, you know, breakdown analysis people use that kind of feature, but this is new for the channel. What I used to do in previous videos is <laughs> take screenshots, and I used to have like a hundred screenshots and slot them in between the video in Sony Vegas, and it would take me hours upon hours. This is a lot more fluid, it's a lot easier for me, and it will hopefully make a better video, because I don't have to keep stopping and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. So this should be good. So, oops, sorry, I kind of cut you off there. <laughs> so, yeah, sit back, enjoy, and this is part one. With Grand Theft Auto V, Rockstar have tried to reimagine the open world game in a number of ways. So this is the first place I want to stop it at today. Um, as you can see, this is gameplay of flying an aircraft, flying a jet, and I would like to think this is from the very first trailer, but I don't know. It could be, it could well not, I don't know, I just don't know. Um, so what you can see here is a aircraft thing. I don't know what this is called, I'm not an aircraft, I'm not a pilot uh, type of guy. Uh, but we've seen this in, you know, GTA games, other games as well, and it tells you the level in which you're flying at on top of the map. Which is square this time, which is a little bit different. Also underneath you can see there is a health bar, armor bar, and this little one here is special ability, I would assume. Uh, the blue bar inside of an aircraft or a vehicle could be the strength of the vehicle, um, but I doubt that. This is a guess at this point in time. But yeah, that's pretty cool. The game world is beautiful, massive, and diverse. Always looks awesome. A sprawling, satirical reimagining of modern Southern California. Covering mountains and oceans, expensive stores. Alright, so this is on the second place I'm going to be stopping it today, and you can see right here, there is a t-shirt. This is very familiar within the HUDs of GTA. Also, we've got a home icon and an H down here, which would indicate a mission. Same again, uh, question mark there actually. Uh, we've got health bar, armor, and special ability. So this is uh, Michael, rounded people. Hello man, woman, another woman. Actually, I'm not sure about you. <laughs> and yeah, the graphics look great. Um, can't argue with that. Let's carry on. Doors and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? <laughs> I'm playing that again. I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber. Popcorn. And now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin. All right. Street All right, so this is another bit I want to stop at. <laughs> Welcome back. I wonder where that is. Um, so, on here again, it's the same sort of a thing. Um, you can see on the map, there's M, which I would presume is a Michael mission. Franklin, and question mark. And same again. We've got the green, we've got the armor, and then we've got the special ability. Which doesn't look charged up, it doesn't look colored. I don't know whether that is of any, whether it should be colored, but later on you'll see that this is a much brighter yellow. Um, so I'm not entirely sure you know, what's the deal with that? I'll look at it a little bit later. The BMX, which we've seen before. I want to drive one of those, or drive, ride one of those quite badly, actually. Street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. We can't repo- Oh my god, we missed it. I know it's not related to the HUD, but Chop, uh, he's a doggy. I love him. Morons. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. Fuck. 
The less said about him, the better. Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven right, story and the structure. Okay, so I'm glad I caught that. This is obviously gameplay on the PS3. Uh, you can see, there we go, press X, you know, do all this sort of a thing. Um, yeah, and see, this is what I was talking about, the yellow bar. You can see it's a lot brighter now. Um, so this would kind of indicate that uh, Michael, I'm presuming this is, has health, he doesn't have armor, and he has a little bit of special ability. So, there we go. Of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high arc. And here we go. So this is actually something we've seen a few times drawn by fans. Um, people talked about this when they went and saw the preview. And so we have Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. And what you do is you switch between the characters and you have all their stats here. Um, so special is zero here. Shooting, you know, stamina and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. The interesting thing is it says 83 days. This is something I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So maybe if you guys know, you could sort of put it in the comment section. Uh, but that, yeah, that's in interesting. And I actually really like this kind of sort of thing. Obtain moment to another. That. Actually, now I think about it, wouldn't that be multiplayer? I don't know. That's interesting. To another. That. Okay, so stopping it here. So Franklin is sniping right now. As you can see, there's the controls up here. We got bullets here, and um, we got the little red dots. Very, you know, normal for the GTA series. We got a home hub here. Health, no armor, and lots of special ability. He's got support. And you're gonna see it's gonna go from blue to green when it goes to. Uh, sorry, it's gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Out of here. Roger that. This helps to give missions new levels of. Okay, so you can see on the map here, um, you know, <laughs> pain spray. We got the ammunition. Um, we've got a little bit of special ability, and it seems to be the faster you're going, the flatter this is, or you know, elevation-wise as well, because uh, we've got like the bar along there as well. But you're not flying at this point, although you could be, because Trevor's icon's right here. So that's kind of cool. Diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters. Same again for Franklin. So we got Franklin, Michael, and S. Whatever that is. There's also allow for a touch of voyeurism. Oh, this is interesting. This is green because it's coming out of Franklin. This is my idea anyway. And watch it. This As is you the can drop switching. in at any moment. And now it's gone blue. So when you go from character to character, it changes the hue, uh, which is really awesome. Oh, I didn't just do that. Hang on. I kind of like just pressed the wrong button. See, this is the fun of doing it live. Well, live for me at least. <laughs> when not on a mission, play the me. use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. That's yes, a green. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop, too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. And I'll go back a little second. And you can see Trevor's colors are sort of an orangey yellow. And when we go out... And now it's going to go to... See that? A sort of orangey tinge, which is really cool. I don't know how many of you noticed that. Before. Yeah, but sir, give it up! So this is what we're used to seeing in the GTA. Um, it doesn't, I can't see like a, like a patrol area for the police and where they're looking for you. So that's kind of interesting. Um, we've got the special ability armor in this case and health. And you can see helicopters with the little blades and the cars. Oh, and the stars. Oh, I'll stop that as well. So like I said, stars. And right here, the fence gets broken. Cool. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. 
All right, so this is car customization, a long-awaited thing. Um, there's 75 different colors you can have. Whether or not you can unlock them straight away, I don't know. And here is all the, you know, traction, braking, acceleration, top speed, which is... Cars to customize. And I'll just step back a little bit more. And then we have the wheels. 25 different wheels. Ah, these are all locked, so you have to progress in your... This is, you know, you've got a lot of money at this stage. Um... Yeah, so you have to unlock these. How you unlock them, I don't know. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Customize. Planes to fly. Bit of air aircraft um, stuff. Something up there, I'm not sure what that is. I think someone said it was a UFO in my video, in my last video. That bridge over there is one we've seen. Uh oh, unless it's here. No, oh, yeah, here we go. So this bit right here, I know this has nothing to do with the HUD, by the way, I'm just excited. So this is, uh, we've seen a screenshot of here a few times. Um, yeah, that's cool. Planes to fly. Clothes to buy. Uh, clothes. Standard. Very expensive clothes by the looks of it. Sports to play. Bit of golf. Looking forward to doing a bit of golf. Play. Nirvana's to pursue. Oceans to dive. Now this is interesting. This is scuba diving. And the thing that interests me here is there is no air pressure thing indication um so it might be unlimited i'm not sure so we've got health no armor no special ability and points of interest i'm assuming on the map animals to spot hunt and be hunted by uh interesting little bit here oh <laughs> he's gonna get shot in the nose um so east seven miles an hour so snipers require a little bit more work maybe possibly not entirely sure there might be sort of drop uh, bullet drop and things like that that'll be interesting to see by freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. Now get the hell out of here! Bounties to hunt, and on and on. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. So, I'm not entirely sure what this circle around here is. And you can see all the enemies on the map. Blue, little thing there. I reckon that might be, actually, going back to the underwater stage. This would actually make a lot more sense. Uh, where is it? Is it before this? I can't remember. Yes. So this might here might be your counterparts. So Michael, Trevor, or Franklin. In fact, I'm pretty certain that is what that is. Oceans to dive. Might be wrong. Now. Animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by. Freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. Now get the hell out of here! Bounties to hunt, and on and on. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Already done that one. <laughs> but the blue bits here could be sort of Trevor and Michael. Just a point of, uh, point that out sort of a thing. There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game. I'm going to go back a few frames. Because if you look when you get shot. I need to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, look. The HUD goes uh, red. Which is interesting. So that's kind of cool. Focus on mechanics in the game to make oh, every aspect. That. So here is the magic pot kits system. Um, there we go. So we got shotgun, some kind of grenade launcher, C4 pistol, like an M4 type thing. I uh, don't know what weapon this is, and a sniper rifle and a parachute. By the looks of it, and your fist. Just one though, and a shotgun. To make every aspect as fun oh. and f Actually, as I was coming away from that, I noticed... I don't know. Yeah, so you can actually see the stats of the weapon. Oh, let me just get there again. Damage, fire rate, accuracy, range. That's pretty interesting. Missed that. To make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. Everything from driving... So this is interesting, you're going really fast right now, and the map seems to have sort of gone at an angle, sort of like like a sat-nav would, I guess. It's, uh, I don't know whether it does it for all driving or just because you're going fast. Bing and shooting. To ten Tennis. Tennis and bike riding. Uh, this is cool, bike riding. So this is actually like a mini challenge thing. Um, that's cool. Feels fun and responsive. I thought that was a wingsuit when I first saw it, but it's just, you know, falling with style. And you can see the thing here. 
Somebody please tell me what that's called. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention. So this right here is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a GTA game ever. So right here is like a menu system, I'm presuming. Um, so you have the crew, and what you're doing here is picking your crew and to-do list. So you have pick a crew, um, you know, get, you know, <laughs> get rifles and things. And what he talks about, hang on, I'll play it. Uh, you can, sorry, I'm thinking about how to do this. So this says loud. And this says smart, and you have your people here. So if you listen to the video now, he's now talking about this menu system. The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart. Let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go. This is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing! After the take is divided, <laughs> you decide what to spend your money on. And so this is the tattoo parlor. Um, there's not that many tattoos. 16, or whether that's pages, I don't know. And whether they will be independent to each character, not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> tattoos. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars. Looking at this, you're going pretty fast now and it hasn't done it as much, so not entirely sure what's the deal with the map. To risky ventures like stocks. <laughs> so this is the stock market ammunition. You can uh, buy stocks and online currency. And Los Santos. And you can buy real estate, which is really cool. Real estate. And then. And this is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, HUD-wise, because this is a HUD video, you can see the player names on top, I'm assuming. And you got Parachute behind you. Something there, I can't really see it. Uh, star, all the characters are white dots, I presume. And GTA uh, Grand Theft Auto Online is something we don't know about and we'll find out in the future. But that looks pretty goddamn awesome. There's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate your viewing. Um, I hope this hasn't been too long, and I will speak to you all very soon. Take care. Now, before I go quickly, um, all of these guys that you're seeing on screen guessed the correct time for the gameplay on my last video. Over, I think it was nearly 6,000 comments on that video. Um, it was like a 1,000 under an hour. It was absolutely insane. I said, guess the correct time for the gameplay. All of these people guess the correct time and anyone else uh, that put 450 um it was after the game had gameplay release so uh yeah you kind of cheated but um these guys guessed correctly and i said you get a shout out and well here it is thanks for watching guys take care